Hi there. Thank you so much for watching and for joining me. And uh, today we're going to make this mandala. This is a very plain mandala, but it is very practical. I put this on my bedside table, a cup of tea before I go to sleep at night, and it doesn't topple over because it's flat. I love it, and there are many of these in my home. I will show you pictures afterwards, um, like I usually do in a little slideshow, um, that you can see um, where I use it and how I use it. And I like the fact that I can do something in my house, pick the color in a cushion, pick the color in a duvet, pick the drawer, basket drawer color uh, next to my bed, and then it matches everything. It's just lovely. I love making this. And uh, I hope you're going to enjoy making it. And I hope you choose your own colors. Of course, you will choose your own colors. And then you make it. And I hope that you also enjoy it. Thank you very much. So join me and keep me company. And let's do this. Let's talk about the yarn we're using in this project. Uh, this is called Moya. 100% cotton. Erin Caress. And it is an Aran weight, hook size 5 millimeters, that's what we're interested in, 50 grams with 110 meters. The color is sea green, I love this. To me it looks more like a duck egg blue, um, sort of. And then it says here, um, there's a sticker over that, but I can hold that under the light. And it says, Moya yarns are hand dyed. And should be washed separately as there may be slight residual surface dye. Machine washable, dry flat, do not bleach. Made in South Africa. And they give the website there www.moyayarn.com There, beautiful. I love it. It's a little bit crinkly. And But it's uh, not difficult to work with. It's very soft. Might even make a beautiful garment. I'm going to make a mandala. And um, that is going to fit in with my color scheme in my bedroom. This brown is the color of the baskets in my side table. And basket drawers in my side table. And it's called brown sugar. Beautiful. And it's lot 200. Obviously, everything is hand dyed. It suggests a five millimeter hook, but I'm going to use a four and a half millimeter. Then I am also using, they call this wheat. I love it. A beautiful bit of cream. And the last one is going to be sea, Persian green. Persian green. This one always, I think there was one. This one's sea green. See, but it, to me, it looks blue. Okay, but so we're using sea green, Persian green, wheat, and where are you, little brown sugar? There we go. Isn't that beautiful? That is the names, but, and that's the colors. That's the colors. Beautiful mandala that we're going to make. Okay, so join me in this. Okay, so with our Persian green, we are going to make a slip knot like this. And with my four and a half millimeter hook, I'm going to chain five. All right, and it's one, two, three, four, and five. And go through the first chain to make a slip stitch just to close that ring and chain three. One, two, three. That will serve as a double crochet. Now I must add another 15 actual double crochets in this ring so that I have a total of. 16 so this i'm going to count this as number 
to my second double crochet and my third double crochet and my fourth double crochet it's a quarter four and five and six and seven and eight double crochets in that ring that we've made now you're going to continue make another eight so that we have a total of 16 including our first three chain post okay let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen there we go i've got sixteen and i'm just going to make a slip stitch let's just get rid of that little straggler in the top of my three chain post i'm making there a slip stitch to close the ring and now i'm going to go and slip stitch into the next stitch there we go just yarn over pull through and make a single crochet and two chains and that it will serve as a double crochet i'm going to make a double crochet in the same spot so that is two double crochets and for the rest of this round i'm going to work at two double crochets into every stitch the top of every stitch that i see two double crochets there's the next stitch there i'm going to work two let me just get some yarn here two double crochets so we had 16 and at the end of this round we will have 32 double crochets so let's just get here this is what's happening two double crochets into every stitch as it presents itself and you're just going to do that and then i will meet you where we started off again see that is going to look beautiful so it's two double crochets into every stitch there we go i'm on my last one i'm going to put a double crochet into that stitch one and two let me just get some yarn here and a slip stitch in the top of our three chain space now we are going to do you should now have 32 double crochets because you've done two in each and now we're going to do one double crochet and one chain all around this so again i'm going to the next step next stitch i'm going to do a single crochet like this and two chains and that will be my double crochet one chain as my one chain space find the next double crochet and it's one double crochet one chain find the next stitch put a double crochet in it and one chain find the next stitch put a double crochet in it and one chain this is the thing i love about this hand dyed yarn is that there's slightly as you're working you see here's a little bit darker here's a little bit lighter you've got these little uh, specks of white or cream it's lovely to work with and it's very very soft 
this should make a lovely garment okay so you're just going to do a double crochet chain one and a double crochet in the very next stitch and no did i make it no, no see i've got to concentrate make a, a chain one a double crochet in the very next stitch chain one make a double crochet in the very next stitch and a chain one and that's how you're going to continue all around and i'll see you at the beginning there we go i'm coming up to my last stitch i've done one chain and i'm doing focus i'm doing one double crochet my last for this row and one chain and a slip stitch in the top of my three chain space right let's just have a look at what we've created it's lying beautifully flat which is what you want you don't want anything curling up let me just get some yarn here and the next one we're going to do two double crochets into every one chain space only so we're going to go into the one chain space immediately make a single crochet and another two chains and that's my double crochet my first and a double crochet next to that one in the same space hop over to the next one chain space make two double crochets in that one chain space hop over to the next one chain space make two double crochets in that one chain space like that what I like about this mandala is that it is flat. It's going to lie on my bedside table. So if I want to put a cup of tea on it, and there's a little bauble or a popcorn stitch or anything like that, I don't want to a cup of tea or a glass of water to fall over because the table isn't flat. Because the mandala isn't flat. No, no, no. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. Two double crochets into every one chain space don't worry about anything else you're just jumping over to the one chain space and you're putting two double crochets in there and then i will meet you at the beginning again see this is what it's looking like let me meet you here again so i'm coming up to my last one and doing a double double two double crochets into that last little one chain space and making a slip stitch in the top of my three chain now we're going to change colors so let's just put that down like that snip off and there we go and we're going to change colors to brown sugar there we go isn't this lovely and flat for those of you counting we have 64 double crochets right around so now we're going to go over to brown sugar and we are going to make by making a slip knot and pick anywhere but there and I'm just going to go in and make a slip a single crochet just a moment that's a single crochet and now we're going to add one two chains and that is our double crochet now I'm simply going to make a double crochet into every stitch as it presents itself so that I will end up again with 64 
double crochets let me just get some more yarn there we go so you're just going to go around and do one double crochet into every stitch top of a double crochet as it presents itself and I will get you at the end of this round and I'm just ending off this row and there we go so what we're going to do here slip stitch go into the next one and make a double crochet um, a single crochet and chain two then I'm going to make a chain two space I'm going to skip one stitch and in the next stitch I'm going to make a double crochet and I'm going to chain two one two and skip one and in the next one work a double crochet one two chains and let me just get some more yarn and skip one in the next one make a double crochet and that is all you're going to do one two chains all around skip one and work in the next one one double crochet that's what you're going to do right around see you at the beginning here again and we're ending off this row one two, uh, there it is one two three I don't always count from the bottom up there you go now just a slip stitch to connect it that is the end of that now we are going to do uh, into the two chain loop make a single crochet and one two stitches uh, two chains sorry that's my double crochet and I'm going to put another double crochet in here and I'm going to that's two double crochets in a two chain loop one double crochet on top of that double crochet of the previous row and two double crochets into the two chain space so basically it's one chain on every chain because here you have one double crochet and you're putting a double crochet on top of that we're not increasing you have a two chain space and you're going to put two double crochets in that there we go my apologies on camera please we have a double crochet you're going to put a double crochet on top of that and a two chain space and you're putting two double crochets into that and that's how you're going to continue so it's basically the same stitch count so that's what you're going to do in this round and I'll see you back here I've done my last one now that's my single crochet and two chains so I am not putting anything in there because what we want is a double crochet on top of a double crochet two chains in a two chain space there is the two uh, double crochets in my in my two chain space and this is the double crochet well it will serve as a double crochet on top of my double crochet so I'm just going to make a little slip stitch to connect it and say goodbye to brown sugar because we are now going to make a row of cream which is the color wheat so now we've said goodbye to brown sugar and hello to wheat which is our little cream we're going to make a slip knot here we go and pick another space another place 
not where we end it anywhere else and you're going to make a single crochet two chains and that is your double crochet now you're going to make that's your first double crochet and now you're going to count second and in the next stitch third one in every stitch third and fourth double crochet five double crochet and I'm going to make six double crochets Let me just get some more yarn six double crochets I've made one in every of the previous double crochets then I'm going to add one so it's six plus one plus one so in the same stitch or place as six you're going to add one so that's going to be seven see now you're going to do six plus one so it's going to be one two and three double crochets four five six let me just get some more yarn six plus one means in the same stitch you're going to just add another one so what it what's going to happen is like every quarter of this um circle we are going to add four four stitches that's what should happen so six plus one so you're just going to continue with your six plus one and this is one and there is two and there is three come on focus three and four and five and six I run out of yarn every time I get there six and your plus one is in the same spot there we go and that's what you're going to do just continue like that and I'll meet you at the start So there I've made my six plus one and I've gone one, two, three, four, five and I'm going to go into the same stitch as that one and I'm going to make another one as if it is a double, right? And then I'm going to end off by making a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. There we go. And that is our, it's lying beautifully flat. That's our wheat cream color. And we are saying goodbye to the wheat because we're going to go over to our sea green, which looks like blue. There we go. So we're going to make a little slip knot in our sea green, which, hey, looks a lot like blue lovely shade of blue so then we are going to start not there start anywhere else and uh, make a, a single crochet like that focus single crochet with two chains one and two and now we are going to work, that's one, our first double crochet, right? And we are going to work 11 plus one. So it's going to be one. Let me just get some yarn before I run into trouble and then I have to interrupt myself. Okay, so let's just do this very smoothly one double crochet done already second so 
So it's two double crochets, three, one in each of the previous row, three as they present themselves, three and four and five, six uh, double crochet, seven double crochet, eight, nine, ten, and it's just going to be one on top of another one. See, we've done nothing, it's just ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus one. And the plus one is worked in the same stitch as 11 so it's 11 plus 1 that's it's easy for me if I remember it like that and I'm going all around I'm counting up to 11 plus 1 and I know what to do with my plus 1 I work it in the same stitch as 11 and you're just going to work another 1 2 and 3 4 and 5 and just get to the side of that that's our three chain space there Right, I lost count. There's our double. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. And 11 plus 1 plus 1 in the same spot and that is what you're going to do all around see it's going to be a very slight increase beautiful like that okay and I'm ending off and there's my little top of my three chain and I'm doing a little slip stitch and in the next row we're going to do the same as down here which is one double crochet and two chains and one double crochet so I'm going to go into the next one which is what I normally do and we're going to make a single crochet like that come on and two chains one two that will count as my double crochet come on focus there we go now two chains one two skip one now we know where we are skip one work a double crochet one double crochet and one two chains it's one double crochet two chains skip one work in the next one one double crochet and one two chains and skip one work in the next one one double crochet and one two chains and skip one work a double crochet in the next one and that is what you're going to do all around and i'll see you back at the end here okay end of this row but it's confession time i missed a stitch now Remember, we're doing a double crochet, two chains, 
skipping one putting a double crochet in there two chains skipping one that's what we're doing but now somewhere i missed a stitch so look at how i fixed it in the grand scheme of things you won't be able to see it but if it should happen to you at any in any of the rounds and you miss a stitch or whatever you're just going to cheat a little bit as long as it looks balanced so what i did was i did my two chains and i would have done this a double crochet two chains and skip one a double crochet two chains skip one and a double crochet now now that is way too close it's like right next to this one. Oh no 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 i don't want that i don't want that so what i did was i just went back two and i did this i went up to this point and i did my two chains one and two chains but in instead of skipping one i skipped two so i'm doing it in the third one now oh, that was my little hack one two chains and then i'm just going as normal and in the big scheme of things once this is done and it's lying there on the table you won't even notice it so there we go there's one and then one two and then that's my top where i'm going to do a slip stitch in the top of the three chain and you see now let me just lie it down You see there you won't be able to pick that up and look how beautifully flat this mandala is i love it it's not curling anywhere but if in any of the rounds you miss a stitch just a stitch out or whatever that's what you're going to do just do that uh, just as long as it looks even and it's lying flat goal achieved okay in the next round we're going to make one in every stitch which means we've got a two chain space one double crochet two chain space one double crochet and i'm going to put in a single crochet into the chain space one and two double crochet uh, uh, chains that will now be my double crochet and i'm going to put another double crochet in there because this is my two chain space and i'm going to put a double crochet on top of the double crochet post like that let me just get some more yarn here two chain two double crochets in the two chain space one and two and one on top of the previous rows double crochet so it's literally going to be one in every stitch well the stitch count will just be the same because for every two chains you're putting two double crochets for every double crochet post you're putting a double crochet and there you go and this is how you're going to continue on top of the previous rows double crochet a double crochet this is what it's going to look like on top of that double crochet a double crochet in the two chain space two double crochets double crochet on top of the previous double crochet and just continue like that yes this is turning out really nice i'm ending, ending off making a slip stitch there we go and saying goodbye to sea green because 
we are going to set to use some of the Persian green again. Fantastic! We are on our nearly finished, nearly finished. Okay, so now see green. Come here, see green. Okay, and we're making a slip knot. There we go. And not where we end it, somewhere else. And in this row, uh, row <laughs> round, there we go, there we go. You're just going to go and make a um, single crochet like normal, two chains. That is our pretend double crochet let me just grab that straggler come here come here there we go going to just work a little bit of it in and we are going to make one in every double crochet so no increasing nothing to remember this is an easy round just making a double crochet on top of a double crochet in the previous round and that is very easy peasy this is beautiful I love the colors my lounge my daughter's room my bedroom nearly the entire house is this color these colors tuck egg blue very light green, soft. Like I said, this is all you're going to do. A double crochet in every double crochet of the previous round. See you back here. So we're on our last row. Just finish off this one. Uh, make a slip stitch in the top of the three chains and there we go go into that first stitch like i always do go to the next stitch make a single crochet now we are going to make little shells let me just see that i've got enough yarn okay and what you're going to do is you're going to count there is your um single crochet one two three in the fourth one you are going to put a double crochet actually seven so it's going to be one and two and three and four and five and six all in the same space and the last one seven in that space and then you're going to count one two three in the fourth one make a single crochet and that is what you're going to be doing shells on the last round let me just i think i'm running out of yarn i'll have to just make a magic knot but like this now that's your 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 single crochet one two three four that will be the center of your shell and you're going to do seven double crochets one and two three and four double crochets five six and seven you see how I turn the work as I as I go around the shell 
then I come back and I count one two three in the fourth one I'm just going to make a single crochet second shell and that is literally what you're going to do all around you're going to put a single crochet count four one two three four and that's where you're going to put your double crochet that will be your shell just get some yarn here let me just I'm running out of yarn here two three and four and five and six and seven and then you're going to make a single crochet one two three and in the fourth one a single cro crochet like that that is what it's going to look like you're going to put little shells around so meet you at the end here again so I'm on the last row and on the last stitch I've done the last shell one two three four and that brings me to that single crochet so I'm just going to slip stitch in that single crochet just like that and snip and that is the end I've got to work in all these ends so let me quickly do that and then we're going to have a look at what we've created okay so this is the moment of truth I think it came out beautifully beautifully lovely 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 so now let me just show you this one I made to match the other one that's next to my bed and this is the older one <laughs> can you see a slight difference in um, color well that's the thing with hand dyed yarns but I must say can't blame it on that only this has been in the washing machine actually and then after it's dried when it was just a little bit damp still I used a cool iron on it to keep it nice and flat and so you can see it's really well used and now I've got a new one so love it love it love it love it okay so I um this is something that we really use in our house and I've got in every room nearly okay thank you so much for joining me if you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and I hope to see you with the next video bye